ਮੇਰੀ ਡੰਡਾਉਦ ਬੰਦਨ ਅਨਕਬਾਰ ਸਰਵ ਕਲਾ ਸਮਰਥ ਡੋਲਣ ਤੇ ਰਖ ਪ੍ਰਭੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਦੇ ਕਰ ਹੱਥ ਤੇਰੇ ਜੋਰ ਮੈਂ ਗੁੰਗਾ ਕਹਤਾ ਹੂੰ ਤੇਰਾ ਸਦਕਾ ਤੇਰੀ ਸਰਣ ਸਤਨਾਮ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਪਹਿਲਾ ਬਾਬੇ ਪਾਇਆ ਬਖਸ਼ਦਰ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਧੰਨ ਸਤਿਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਦੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਸਾਧ ਸੰਗਤ ਵੀ ਬਲੈਸਡ ਅਗੇਨ ਟੂ ਬੀ ਗਾਦਰ ਟੂਗੇਦਰ ਸੋ ਵੀ ਕੈਨ ਰਿਫਲੈਕਟ ਔਨ ਦ ਟੀਚਿੰਗਸ ਆਫ ਭਾਈ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਭਾਈ ਗੁਰਦਾਸ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਦੇ ਵਾਰਾਂ ਵਿੱਚ ਵੀ ਬਲੈਸਡ ਬਾਈ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਅਰਜਨ ਦੇਵ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਐਸ ਦ ਕੀ ਟੂ ਅੰਡਰਸਟੈਂਡਿੰਗ ਗੁਰਬਾਣੀ in the last pauri we've heard from pai sahib ji that stan sahib sri guru nanak dev sahib ji the form of a kal prak vahe guru on this earth have come to save their own creation they have set up the system of charnamrat developed in their 10th form into khandamrat and through reciting their name sri guru nanak dev sahib ji are going to liberate us all from kaljug and their world and bring us out of this charasi lag june and make them one make us one with themselves in this 24th pauri Pai Sahib Pai Gurdas Sahib ji is describing what Guru Nanak Dev Sahib ji did within this body and how they went about saving the world let us focus and concentrate on this 24th body in the vara of Pai Sahib Pai Gurdas Sahib ji Satnam Sri Waheguru Sahib ji pehla babbe paya bakhshdar so first Sri Guru Nanak Dev Sahib ji attained the grace the kirpa of the almighty lord so they describing Pai Sahib ji that they are taking the blessings of the almighty power pichon de phir kaal kamai and then they underwent and uh, the kamai of traveling around the world to save their own creation so they're showing that you have to tar a guru first that's why sri guru nanak dev sahib ji went into the bai nadi into the river of vai to take mool mantra and gur mantra they done their guru of wahe guru sabd guru sartatun chela and then they became the satguru of the world so we as humanity had to take on a satguru as pai sahib ji has been describing in their vara previously before we can understand the true message and sri guru nanak dev sahib ji went through that practice themselves first so we wouldn't question why do we have to do it and the same sri guru gobind singh sahib ji did they went down and begged for amrit khande baate da amrit themselves to show that everybody has to go through this if they want to be liberated ret ak ahar kar so they lived uh on sand they ate the air and the sand of the world in other words they're traveling around the world roda di gur kari vishai they slept on stone that was their bedding so basically they were traveling around the world and pai sahib ji is describing that they would eat uh whatever they would find bone hari is a word described that you just eat air because you don't get time to eat because you're traveling constantly they traveled all around the world they would sleep on stones that's how pai sabji is describing this metaphorically that they're traveling around the world to save their creation pari kari tapasya badde bhag har syo ban aayi so pari kari tapasya so that's what we have to do on the name of the lord we have to recite the name of the lord uh for us to be able to be blessed and become one with the lord and to have that opportunity to become one with the lord and pai sahib ji describing guru nanak dev sahib ji that they that tapasya of traveling and preaching gur shabad is what they are doing and then they are given as the opportunity to become one with the lord baba paida sach khand nau ne de naam garibi pai so they describing now further how they went to sach khand in the bai nadi showing us that you go to your guru first and for us that such kind is the guru grand sahib ji's darbar the such kind we get that on earth by coming to their darbar in the gurdwara in the sanctuary of the panch pyare and then now ne the naam garib bi pai then we get given that naam that naam that is going to give us garib bi not poor materialistically but garib bi humbleness so we can man niva and then we can get mat uchi so we can become one with wahe guru baba dekhe dhyan tar antan sahib sri guru nanak dev sahib ji looked around the world they saw what was happening within their creation jalti sab prithvi this i they saw that the world is burning they're burning within the panch chor they're burning in lust they're burning in greed they're burning in anger they're burning in attachment and we're burning in ego so they saw all of this 
as they're traveling around the world saving their creation and what are we should what should we learn from this bajjo guru gobar hai without the true guru without satguru there is complete darkness gobar we can't see anything we're blinded ha ha kar di suni lukai and only the cries can be heard on this earth and because there is blindness so without the guru we can only cry we can only cry out to be saved because we don't have that knowledge to be able to have the opportunity to be saved babe ek banaya so what form did they don what what form did they take on udasi ki reet chalai they took the form of an udasi now that doesn't mean they followed an udasi sect because that is a sect is a type of religion as well udasi he basically means they tyagd everything they detached themselves from the world they detached themselves from materialism they became humble so udasi he means to detach themselves from the world or detach, detach themselves from materialism and that's what we should do if we want to become one with the lord chadeya sodan tart lukai and then they went out obviously and traveled the world sodan to purify to save to bless and to purify us across all of the world if i've made any mistakes or offended anybody i beg for forgiveness this body bhai sahib ji described what how guru nanak dev sahib ji went around the world traveling around to save their creation deho sajjan si sriyan jo ho bhai sahib se me lekha katha hai shuti akhin kin bhulan har baksan har baksla nanak par utar chadya sodan dhart lukai wahe guru ji ka khalsa wahe guru ji ki fateh meri kal Oh